Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to talk about test case management overview in Team Foundation Server 2013. Basically, what test case management is that it'll help you to plan your test cases, save your test cases, run your test cases against your software. Um, it, it'll help you to find any bugs or issues um, in your software before you release that software to your organization production system or any public sector. So uh, there are three types of uh, test case management uh, are popular out there. Number one is formal test case management. Number two is exploratory uh, test management. And number three is agile methodology. So we're going to uh, take a quick overview of each of that. In first type, the formal test case management, we the tool that we use is Microsoft Test Manager. Um, I'm, we're going to talk about Microsoft Test Manager 2013. It is part of Visual Studio uh, 2013 uh, family, so it gets shipped with that. If you don't have that, you can also go ahead and download um, Microsoft Test Manager 2013, Visual Studio 2013 Professional or, or uh, whatever the version that you wanted to use. Download from Microsoft website and uh, install that. Uh, the second uh, property of the formal test m uh, management is it you create your uh, uh, test case plans manually and uh, in during the manual uh, creation of your test plan you create test cases suites what uh, what test case suite is basically uh, there are um, a lot of uh, test case put together in one bundle and that's called uh, the test suite and it it all the test cases that you create in test suite they're tied back to a, requi a requirement let's say your requirement is um, creating a vendor portal or maybe uh, presenting a, a, a new feature on your uh, first page on your um, software on your application so that would be your requirement and all those uh, requirements when develop developer do every everything that uh, they're supposed to do and it comes for testing then you're supposed to test all those uh, uh, um, all the functionality behind that new feature and uh, the, there are certain cases let's say there are 10 cases that's tied with that particular one requirement all those ten, 10 cases and a requirement puts together in a bundle and that would be your test case suite and when you run the test case in formal test case management back behind the scene Microsoft test runner uh, functions really and uh, Microsoft test runner can do a lot of stuff it doesn't just only present the steps that you take in order to test up a, a particular functionality but it also uh, collects a lot of rich data for you back behind the scene that you can use uh, if you caught a bug that you can use that rich data in order to resolve that issue or in order to actually back up your test plan whether it's passed or is failed or is in the in the in the middle that is working but not as expected something like that but you can use that rich text data the the second type is is very uh, famous this is famous among the um, I, I put it up here that popular among the um, experienced testers in exploratory uh, test management there is no test cases you don't do test cases what you do is directly go to that application and start exploring the application and that is provided that your experienced testers you know what you're doing um, basically there are a couple scenarios that I can think of that when you use this type of uh, uh, test uh, case management uh, one is that um, you are experienced tester you know what you're doing and uh, a full functional application came to you and uh, you have done that uh, uh, so many times and you go ahead and just check the functionality and if you don't see the bugs that's good to go and the second is that you have a team uh, test team which is uh, let's say you are three folks in a team so the the first two will go through all the testing manual testing the formal test case management and the last guy that who is also experienced plus he is uh, the reviewing the test uh, the the final review of that particular application so what what happened that he doesn't need really a test case all the functionality what you present to that particular person who is reviewing that uh, final uh, who is giving that final review uh, he, you present a full functional um, application 
all he's looking to do is everything is functioning correctly he's going to do a great regression testing and if he doesn't find a bug that's uh, that's good and if he does find a bug that application is coming back to the uh, back to your team and those first two guys are going to back to the formal test management and go through uh, uh, go through the test case management to to fix that particular issue now the third type is is a, a new type is agile methodology in agile methodology quickly I'll tell you that you um, you put together um, there is a one team agile team that you put together a backlog backlog is basically uh, uh, pieces of a big project it's, a, it's used for the uh, complex uh, projects and you take one backlog item and you take that and, and split it in iterations and after you uh, each iteration has its deadline and has its functions so it has to be completed in that if that is that a first iteration has its own test cases second uh, iteration has its own test cases so this is a, just a quick overview of, of uh, test case um, management in in team foundation server uh, 2013 i'll be using first i'll be completing the formal test case management and i'll be uh, going through each and every step how to create a test plan how to create a requirement how to uh, create a test uh, test case and how to run the test cases and how to file a bug every little detail of formal test management I'll be going through that if you stay tuned for the rest of my videos and the second uh, second uh, exploratory test uh, management will also be covered um, I'll go through that as well and agile methodology will be covered later in my videos I hope this overview helps